Well, here we are down at the print farm. It's a Thursday. Usually when I do these videos and come down here, it's on a weekend. And I do that because it's cooler and quieter. You can see we've got a few printers running. Some of these ANET A8 Plus is here running some different parts. They've been running for a while. Those printers will run, at least these two will probably run until sometime tomorrow. Then we've got some ANET ET4Xs here printing some different parts for us. Let's see, these two are printing the King Room horizontal filament holder. And these three printers are printing three each of the King Room vertical filament holder, which this is the vertical filament holder here, and these are the horizontal filament holders down here. And these King Room printers here are printing some different parts. That's a base for the helping hand table mount. That's a shroud for the heat extractor. These are horizontal filament holders that we're printing on that one. Which brings up a good point. We have ANET printers making parts for King Room printers. So these guys help each other out. These are the spool holders or the spools themselves that we're printing that go with those different mounts. We've got some ANET ET4s over here running. These are the base, I guess you'd call it, for the large solder fume extractor. And here we're making some more of the bases for the table mount helping hand. This is the filter assembly for the solder fume extractor, the large one. This is a base for the large fume extractor. And these are some mounting brackets that we're making. And if we come on around here, down on the bottom here we have some ANET ET4 Pro printers. This one's printing the little feet for the table mount helping hand. This one's printing little locking mechanisms. This one's printing the tall parts for the helping hand. We've got a few different printers running. If you notice the temperature up here, we're at about 82, 83 degrees. Down here, 81.5. And our humidity is 36%. So, we work pretty hard to keep the humidity down in here and the printers print well. This is showing humidity down around 30 percent. The printers print pretty well in the 80 to 90 degree temperature range. At least that's what I've found with most of them. They seem to like that temperature. And over here we're again at about 30 percent humidity and up here it looks like we're 80 degrees. Um, right now everything that's running is going to be running for a while. Those four printers and a couple others are going to finish up here in just probably about the next 30 or 40 minutes. So I just came down here basically to check on some of the printers of course, I have my camera system in here, and I can monitor them on my cell phone if there's a major problem. But I like to come down here and just check for something I might miss on the camera. And at the same time, I usually have a few printers that are finishing up that need to be restarted. This is one example here. This one will finish about the same time that those lap diners over there finish. 
and so will this one. However, all of the rest of these are going to be running well into tomorrow. So I won't be fooling with any of them until sometime tomorrow. I'll stick around here for a little bit. I've got some refreshment down here. I'll go to my little Coca-Cola cooler and pull out an ice cold Diet Coke and that'll help keep me cool. In the summertime it's not too bad. You get used to warm temperatures but in the winter time with it being early January it's kind of hard to come in here and work with these printers going and the temperature between 80 and 90 degrees nothing like an ice cold diet coke to help take the edge off of things i thought i'd bring the camera down because like i said i normally do these videos on weekends when i'm working on the printers or like this last video i just put out where i showed you this past weekend where I was getting everything cleaned up in here and it looks pretty clean now it won't take long I've been trying to keep it cleaned up but when you look at this bin right here this is the kind of scrap that comes off of these printers when I'm changing them out and so forth and it builds up and it gets on the floor and every place else so you have to clean off the printers, clean off the shelves that they're on, sweep up the floor, and try to stay ahead of this stuff. One of the big things that I have that's hard to keep up with is when I'm changing all of this filament and opening new spools, you have the box to get rid of and the heat shrink wrapping around the filament itself and that stuff gosh when you open up 20 or 30 rolls of filament or something you got a lot of trash there that you've got to keep up with a lot of times we just want to test these printers out and see how they do one thing especially when i'm going to different nozzles like i'm printing now with a 0.4 millimeter nozzle 0 0.5, 0 0.6, and 0.8. And what I have to do is on certain parts, I can print them a lot faster with a 0.6 or 0.8 millimeter nozzle. But I've got to look at the part, I've got to print it with that 0.8 millimeter nozzle and compare it to the same part being printed with a 0.6 nozzle or 0.5 or even a 0.4 and see how it interacts and works with other parts see if the tolerances are close enough one example is with the threaded parts do the part thread into it correctly when you're printing those larger nozzles so that's one of the things that I do quite a bit of testing and just running one part at a time on a printer and also I like to compare the parts that I'm running on different printers I have a lot of various printers up in the house in the old print room a lot of king rooms up there I know exactly what I can and can't print on the king rooms and how I need to set them up most of those king rooms are 0.4 millimeter nozzles and they print parts with that nozzle if you notice all of these are printing with 0.6 millimeter nozzles so I have them marked here on the, the printers themselves 0.6 this one is printing these parts the 0.4 millimeter nozzle it's 0.4 and if they don't have a sticker on their point fours, if they're anything other than point four, they'll have a sticker on there with the point six or whatever. When you come over here, these are point eight nozzles on all of these. So that's kind of 
the difference in the nozzles and I have to look at the way they print these parts because some parts like this particular part here I found that it works better because it has a lot of things that have to line up so the precision on it has to be good there are parts that snap into place on it I'm printing four of them five of them at a time on this printer and it prints five of them in 18 hours and 43 minutes I use this and one other printer for printing this part and one printer can keep up I've got a pretty good inventory but I've been assembling more of them so I'm printing a few more on this one printer I'll run it for oh let's see it's using 56 grams so I can run it about nine batches without any problem at all and still have plenty of filament left over. I know it's noisier in here and that's one reason that I don't normally do the videos in the middle of the week when things are running because of the noise. Another thing is because it's warmer down here, I think 82.3 it gets pretty warm so <laughs> so I'm usually in a long sleeve shirt like I am now I start sweating a little bit especially if I'm doing much work but like I said tonight I'm not going to be doing too much work I just have a couple of printers to uh, swap out and here's my little sound system here which normally I have the music going when I'm working here. It keeps me company and kind of gets me in a rhythm, but can't have the music on with YouTube. But when I'm not doing a YouTube video, we're rocking and rolling around here. So that's what I wanted to show you. So until the next time, happy printing from New Tech Inventors.